Hey, sports card fans. It's John, Wade Boggs fan. I recently did a video of the top 10 vintage PSA baseball card sales on eBay for the month of July. And I thought I would do a second top 10 list, but this time taking a look at the top 10 raw baseball card sales on eBay. I know a lot of vintage collectors out there prefer to buy and have raw cards in their collection rather than graded copies. So I didn't want to leave those vintage collectors out. And so I thought I would do a second list, this time again showing the raw card sales, the top 10 for the month of July. And the list was very interesting, um, not just because the sale prices were much lower than the top 10 PSA sales for July, which makes sense. Typically, it's cheaper to buy a raw card than a graded copy, but uh, was also a wide range of different cards. Uh, one of them that I've, well, actually there's a couple that I've never seen before. So it was a very interesting list. And But before I uh, go over that list, I want to give a shout out to Mike baseball collector he did his own top 10 list recently but this time it was his top 10 favorite sports card collections on youtube and i was very surprised to find out that uh, mike chose my wade boggs collection as one of his top 10 favorites again it, this was mike's uh, preference what he enjoys uh, in terms of collecting and looking at other collections I'm sure you may have a different top 10 list, but uh, I was a little shocked, but very pleased and humbled to know that uh, Mike considered my Wade Boggs collection one of his uh, top 10 that he enjoys watching on YouTube. So Mike, thank you. I'm glad you uh, uh, recognize and appreciate uh, the time, effort, and dedication I've put into building my Wade Boggs collection over the past uh, 20 plus years. So again, Mike, thank you. So with that, uh, let's go check out the top 10 raw baseball card sales on eBay for the month of July. Coming in at number 10, the 1954 Topps Hank Aaron rookie card. The listing said it is low grade and notes that there is a crease. Um, I looked at the zoomed in uh, picture of this card, the listing here. And man, I can't tell where there would be a crease. Possibly the upper right-hand corner uh, looks like maybe there's a small little crease, but man, that is a very well-centered copy. Not sure what that would uh, grade at if it were to be submitted. Uh, my guess is, you know, low to mid grade. So a price of $2,244 uh, from 30 bidders, uh, 30 bids, um, seems to be a really good deal on that Hank Aaron rookie card. Beautiful copy. Coming in at number nine, we have a 1911 E98 Ty Cobb Purple. I've never, this is one of the cards that uh, I've never seen before. I, I've never seen a card. Uh, with a purple background, uh, let alone this copy of the Ty Cobb. Um, obviously, you can see there are a lot of creases. It's uh, really beat up, but um, this very well could be a very rare Ty Cobb. Again, I'm not familiar with a lot of the pre-war cards. The E98s uh, may be tough to come by. And a very, very interesting card, again, with that purple background. Very interesting. 72 bids on this auction, and the final sale price was $2,264. Coming in at number eight, we have the 1934 Gaudi Lou Gehrig. Um, this one here is, is off-centered, and again, there was only one bid. I did some checking and looks like the sale went through uh, for $2,850. This is one of those cards, me personally, that 
if I were to buy, I would be suspect that this would not be a reproduction. Um, granted, it is off-centered, and I'm assuming that if you're going to do a reproduction, uh, you'd probably, I don't know, maybe try to make a, a little bit more centered card. I'm not sure. Uh, but at any rate, uh, beautiful looking card. Um, the off centering, it's not minor, it's not major. Um, really, you know, you got some some corner wear there, um, and maybe a little crease. It looks like in the middle left of the card slightly. Uh, but all in all, gorgeous example of the card. I personally would be worried that if I bought that, that it would be legit, which is why I sort of tend to lean toward uh, grading. But for those who know 34 Gaudis and can check it out and can spot whether a card's fake or real, um, for that uh, condition card uh, that it appears to be in, uh, maybe a pretty good deal there for $2,850. Coming in at number seven is a 1939 Gaudi Premiums Ted Williams rookie card. Um, I'm not sure if this is a proper designation, R303A, or whether that was just put there by the seller as part of their uh, inventory system. Uh, again, not too familiar with these 39 Gaudi premiums. Obviously, 39, I believe his rookie year. Um, according to the listing, uh, card's pretty scarce, or this premium is, is pretty scarce. Um, as you can see, there's a tear in the bottom left corner. Looks like there's some tape jobs uh, going on top right corner, maybe even bottom right corner, um, even something at the top left there. But the image itself, the center of the image of Ted Williams, looks like it's in really good condition, um, which is probably why there were 27 bids and pushed the sale price up to $3,310. Coming in at number six is the 1952 Topps Willie Mays. Um, they have it here listed as a rookie card, and of course his rookie card is the 51 Bowman, but um, nice example, centered, well-centered. Uh, you know, to me, I take centering over those rounded corners. Even that bottom, um, you know, the 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 bottom there looks like maybe there's some some paper loss or things like that to me i wouldn't mind that as much the the centering of the card the image of the card looks like there's pretty good color to it um i didn't look up closely some of the the images i don't know if there's other some some other surface scratches or smite little small little creases uh but overall it presents very well for a 52 tops willie mays there were 51 bids and the final strike price was $3,383. Coming in at number five is one of my favorite pre-war cards. It's the 1909-11 T206 Ty Cobb Red Portrait. This one featuring a sweet caporal back. Um, didn't see a picture, I don't believe. There may have been one. There were multiple pictures for this listing. Uh, may have shown the back. Um, I don't know. For me, I don't mind so much that top ding on the on the top uh, corner or the the top side of the card there, um, or nor the bottom or the rounded corner. So to me, the outside of the card is not as important. Personally, what I would have an issue with is the slightly off registry. Looks like it has that uh, that double image look to his eyes and if you can tell the red background and the whole image really is sort of printed off the sort of like the margins there the outline of the card but overall if you're looking for a red portrait Ty Cobb um, that is a pretty nice overall example and this one looked to have been a buy it now for $3,499.99. So this wasn't an auction. Someone snapped it up for just under $3,500. Coming in at number four is another 
card that uh, I've never seen before. It's the 1910 Sepia PC 796 postcard number 20 of Hall of Famer Tris Speaker. Really cool photograph there. Um, looks like you may be warming up before the game uh, near the, the grandstands there of the ballpark. Um, I don't, really, really cool, really cool item slash card. Um, again, I've never seen this before. And yeah, there were 15 bids on this. And the final sale price was $3,662.50. Really neat card there. Coming in at number three, this is a more familiar card, the 1949 Leaf Jackie Robinson. It's noted as fair plus condition. Again, uh, with raw cards, the listed grade by the seller uh, can be up for debate. Um, obviously, there's some staining um, on the card. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the center of it, um, sort of over his face in the yellow background there. Um, not sure what that staining is. Um, and it looks like it has gone either through or also on uh, the back of the card. But generally speaking, it's well-centered. The image of Jackie Robinson, for the most part, is pretty clean. Uh, the Jackie Robinson name as well. So again, overall eye appeal, given what the graded copies of this Jackie Robinson card goes for, um, I think may have been a decent price. There were 29 bids and the final price went for $4,250.77. Coming in at number two, the 1933 Sport Kings gum baseball card number two of Babe Ruth. Now it's the listing was as is and NR, I'm assuming no reserve because it was an auction. Um, other than the corners, uh, the top right's a little dinged, uh, the bottom corners are a little soft, but again, a well centered card. Um, I believe that the, the sort of like the yellowing on his jersey, I think that's actually part of the card and not uh, a, a you know, print mark or anything like that. I believe so. Um, but a nice copy of that Sport Kings, and it shows based on the sales price, there were 86 bids. Final price, $6,350. Now it's time for the number one raw baseball card sale on eBay for July. And it goes to, no, not 52 Tops Mickey Mantle. It's the 1968 Tops Nolan Ryan rookie card. Uh, as the listing says, their rookie card, absolutely beautiful. I don't know about rare, but uh, it is a very well-centered card maybe off top to bottom slightly. Um, although for my eye appeal, uh, it looks really nice. Now, the only thing is I would have to make sure on those corners, the 68 tops, that, that burlap bag or whatever people call it, the uh, background of the card um, sort of hides some blemishes sometimes in those corners. So you really have to get a real close look at those corners to see truly how sharp they are. But overall, this looks to be a really nice example of Ryan's rookie card. If those cor corners are as sharp as they appear, I, I would think maybe that this would grade probably at least a seven. Uh, again, very well centered. Um, doesn't look like to be any creases um, on the card either. And I don't know what set, I'm not sure what. PSA 7 copies go for now, but I'm sure um, they are up in the five figures, low five figures. And this was a um, buy it now or best offer at 12,000 and the seller accepted an offer of $10,000. So there you have it, the number one raw baseball card sale on eBay for July 2021 goes to Nolan Ryan. Well, there you go. A very interesting 
top 10 list to say the least. If you enjoyed this top 10 video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. That's all I have for you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.